All right, we're gonna review now a Diamond Brand military or Marine Combat tent. Um, bought the tent, brand new. Get under here, it's got a light rain to it. I'm gonna set up on the tripod, set it up next to the Eureka Apex 2 XT. All right, I got my tent. My rain fly, my stake bag, all ready to go. I'm gonna set this bad boy up so you can see the uh, process there. Um, and then, uh, you know, the nice thing about this tent is you can set it up in the rain because it's a uh, double wall tent. So you're know, probably not gonna get any rain inside the tent, even if it's raining harder than what it is right now. So. All right, there you have it. It's not guyed out. Um, not sure how long that took off to look at the video. Um, sets up pretty quick for a three pole tent. <laughs> a little bit winded. <laughs> but uh, looks good, it's nice and tight. Give you a look at it. Take a look around the sides here. Still want to pull those out not a requirement but a little bit looseness here in the material really probably just because it's not on perfectly level ground I think of any kind of tent you'll have you'll experience that a little bit um, bought this tent new haven't used it haven't camped in it um, I like it. It's heavy though. It's really heavy. We don't, one of the things I like is If you just needed to reach in and grab something real quick out of your vestibule you can um, The three-pole design is extremely sturdy. I haven't even gone through and and velcroed it up That's what will kind of get this tent in line with the seams um 
Velcro straps underneath there, but great looking tent. You can see it side by side. The apex. Best of Yules. It was a lot, lot thinner of a tent than I thought it was going to be. You know, when you look at like something like the apex and just how wide that is with the vestibules. Um, when I come around here, take a look and see how see how nice and wide that is. Um, I was expecting more vestibule space, but that's not really a big deal. It was a good look at the tent. It's kind of hard to do an inside because of this blackout finish. I'll show you. I was just inside the uh, just inside the now this is grass folks it's not zippers hung up it's getting stuck in the grass um, vegetable space is decent obviously you could put you could put a big big pack in there it takes up most of my leg so you could put a decent amount of stuff in there um, this side you got a little bit you got about from your knee to your foot um, but it's a it's a block out finish on the fly um, so really kind of hard to see um, inside the tent I'm gonna leave this now um, rain starting to mess with this camera's focus a little bit but this is eight by five inside so but the headroom kind of fabric droops a tiny bit um, all of them I've seen inside of these, the, the fabric kind of droops, like I was talking about in the Apex video. So it kind of hinders your headroom a little bit. Close this up, it's starting to rain a little bit more. It's got like a draw cord on here, so you can tighten up your, tighten up your storm flap there a little bit. So, no water getting in around the zipper. This fly material is remarkable. I mean, this is some thick stuff, durable stuff. Way more so. Um, I never did a review on it, but I also, I also own the, uh, the Eureka Combat Tent, which was a green, but it was nowhere near as sturdy as this. Uh, that's what I'm kind of, I'm kind of trying to give my opinion on these two tents. Um, this seems much better built, believe it or not, and I'm a Eureka fan, so. Um, you can see, really can't put anything in here. I mean, this is, this is small. This is the size of my hand. Here's the tent. Two hand widths. Don't plan on putting anything in there. <clears throat> but, gives you an exit point if you need, really need to use the vegetable. On the other side, you've got good storage, and you can always jump out of the tent on this side. So... Definitely good looking with the woodland camo. We'll see how nice and dry this stays. We got a couple more days of rain. We'll just have to see. Apex 2XT, combat tent. Apex 2XT, <laughs> diamond band as I did brand, inside. Brand new. Um, the Intel here, the, the stickiness. Oh, the little toad, he's gonna find a little home in here, isn't he? Little toad. Come here, buddy. Little toad out here in the rain. Um, but you can see right here that I seam gripped it. That's not water, that's not saturation, that's that's seam grip. Because these were not taped. Um, on my Eureka tent, they weren't taped either. They come with bottles of seam grip just for that purpose. But everything's stitched really well, nice and tight. Um, I think you could take a snow load in this tent pretty easily. Um, as you can see, it is raining out here. There's already water on the tent. Um, you know, such a thick material. I, I doubt that's going to leak. We're going to find out, though.